What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video and to the channel. So for this video, I'm going to be installing a new colored start-stop button on my BMW E90. I'm going to be using a colored start-stop button that is available currently on my new online store, hollandbee.com. Now, I already have a silver colored start-stop button on my BMW E90 right now uh, from one I bought like two years ago from Amazon. Um, but I'm going to be replacing it with a blue one here for the sake of the video. I don't want to permanently put the blue one on, I just wanted to show you guys how to replace them for the video so you guys can see how to install these for yourself. But again, this is the exact one that um, is available on my store to purchase. I also have them available in red as you can see here. I also have them available in yellow as you can see right here. And then again, and then I also have it in silver, like the one I currently have on the car right now. And then lastly here, I have it available in gloss black, just in case you want to keep the black color, but want to have a different glossy look instead of the matte black look. And included with every colored start stop button from my website will be a small flathead screwdriver that you can use to install the uh, button piece here. And I'm going to be using this in this video so you guys can see that this is all you need to install these pieces. So here is my current um, start stop uh, button right here. As I mentioned, it is silver. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is remove this whole ignition button unit piece. And to do that, we're gonna have to pry the trim piece back here. As you can see, mine is already very loose because I've taken this off a bunch of times already from when I wrapped it in this silver carbon fiber here. Um, and I, I think I lost one of the pieces that secured this part of the trim on. So it's just very loose. But if you've never taken your trim off, it's gonna be a lot uh, more secure and hard to pull off, but you can just use uh, a metal pry tool like I have here and just kind of pry it off like this. Uh, but like I said, mine is very loose already, so mine's easy to remove. But just let go along the trim piece and eventually it'll pop out. So I can just simply pull it off with my hand here like this. So you want to pull it out until you have enough room to stick your hand behind here uh, so that you can squeeze the two little clips that are holding this in the trim piece. Um, there should be two on the side in the back here. I can get it real quick. You squeeze it together and then just push outward like that. Come on. There we go, just like that. And then you'll see it has an electrical connection back there to simply squeeze the sides together and then just pull back and then it's disconnected just like that. Super easy. Now that this is done, I can show you guys what I was just doing there to get the whole unit out. On the, on the inside here, there's these two little pieces on the sides right here. You can see you just squeeze those two together like that and then once those unhook from the trim piece uh, you should be able to pop this out as you just saw so just squeeze these two together from behind the trim piece once you get enough room and then the unit will come out so now that the unit has been removed here the first piece I'm gonna have to remove is this outer silver piece and it's simply just kind of clipped on to the unit at four points so one at the top there one at the very bottom one on the side and then one on the other side. So they're like on four points opposite of each other. So like I said, one there, one on each side, one bottom, one top. And that's where you use uh, the flathead here to unclip it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. Just be very careful and gentle not to use too much force so you don't break any of these plastic pieces because they are brittle. There we go. And it's off, just like that. I'm gonna put that to the side. So now that that piece is off, you can see where this piece is clipped onto. So there's four points here where it's clipped on to the rest of the unit. You just take your flathead and just kind of lift up on where the where it's clipped onto and then it should just come off
There we go. And it's off, just like that. It's starting to rain outside, so that's what you hear. The rain hitting the windshield, so just try to ignore that. But now that this piece is off, I'm going to go ahead and put the blue piece on now. Once you put it in position, you can simply just press on it and it'll clip in place. And then now, we just simply reinstall all of the pieces. Just like that. And now it is ready to be reinserted back into the trim piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the electrical connection and connect that back together. It's upside down. There we go. And just put that back in place. Push in until it clips. And then all you have to do is re-secure your trim piece like that. And that's it. It is all finished and completely installed. There we go. Go ahead and start the car. And everything works, so awesome, the installation went perfectly. So at this point the installation is complete and as you guys saw not too difficult at all and the pieces fit just fine. So again like I said I'll have these colored ignition start stop buttons available in red right here and then yellow right here and then I'll have it available in silver right here. And then lastly, I have it available in gloss black, just in case you want to keep the original black color, but have a nice glossy look. So these will fit across the entire E90X 3 Series platform, so both pre-LCI and LCI, and then all of the models. I believe these will fit some of the other models, like a 5 Series and 1 Series, just as long as you have the either the pre-LCI ignition button unit or the LCI ignition button unit, the one that I have in my BMW E90 since mine's LCI, the one that you guys saw in the video. I'll throw up a couple pictures so you guys can see how they look in stock factory form. If you have either of those ignition button units, these colored pieces will fit on those. As usual, I'll leave a link to my website where you can purchase these colored start stop button pieces if you are interested. Um, your support is greatly appreciated. If you have any additional comments or questions about these products, feel free to comment them down below the video. So that about wraps up this video. As usual, thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content like this if you are interested. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys in the next video.